Okay, we're almost done. But before we actually call this a finished portrait, I would like to add um, a soft focus filter. Back in the day in film, they used to add it to their lens, but now we can do it in Photoshop. So let me just show you how we're going to do that. Go to our Models layer, right click, and hit Duplicate Layer. Just click OK. Come back up. Well, no, let's go back. Now we're going to go to Filter. Okay, you're going to click on Gaussian Blur, and we're going to move our slider down to 4.0, and then click OK. Gotta bring that down. Let's bring that down so we can bring in. Okay. Now click on that duplicated layer. You're going to go to the opacity and bring that all the way down. Okay, now let's bring her up a little bit. Okay, so we can see what we're doing. Okay, now in the opacity, we're just going to bring it up a little bit at a time so we find what we like. And we're going to give it that nice soft glow. And that's about 36%. And I like that. It just, it has that studio look where it's real soft lighting. Alright, so we don't need this anymore. But you know what? I want to keep the eyes sharp. So let's go to our eraser tool. And we can keep that up at 97% opacity. But I want to make the brush a little smaller. Okay. Okay, I just want to go over the eyes and keep them sharp, then the nostrils, work my way to the nostrils, and then the highlights on her lips. And now, look how nice that looks. Alright, one last thing that we're going to do. Let's bring her out to full screen. By the way, when you come over here, now that we have what we like, all right, just right click on your top layer and you click Merge Down, and this way we'll be just creating one layer. Okay, now I'm going to remain here on the Models layer, and I'm going to click on Add a New Layer. And we're going to do the same thing with her as we did with the background. Go ahead and click on your color palette. I'm going to pick the color black. And I'm going to get my paint bucket. I'm going to fill in that new layer with black. Go back to my marquee tool. Click delete. I just want to bring some dark areas down here. Okay, deselect. I don't really want to affect the corners anymore. So I'm going to hit get my eraser. And I'm going to just erase that out. Okay, then we're going to go back to Blur, Gaussian Blur, and again, we are repeating what we just did, what we had done a while ago with the background. I want to slide that Gaussian Blur all the way to the right. Click OK. Bring it down. There's the box here so you can see it. Back to Opacity. Bring it all the way down and bring it up just slightly. And what that's doing, it's really taking some of that bright light off of her arms and down below so that 
Your eyes will follow her face. Bring that up just a little bit. And that's about 30%, and I'm okay with that. Now that's it. That really will do it. Let's bring this up a little bit. And there's your portrait. Okay, now what we want to do, come back to the Layers palette and click Flatten Image. Once you have one layer, come up, save as, okay, we'll give it a name, okay, Kelly Portrait. And you want to save that as a JPEG. And save. Keep it at maximum. There you go. Now your portrait is ready for print. You can send it out to the printer and your customer will be happy. Guarantee it. Well, that'll do it. That's our portrait. If you're watching this video from YouTube, thanks for stopping by. Um, go ahead and subscribe. I'm going to have a lot more different tutorials and different articles for photographers. If you're watching this video because it was part of the bundle when you purchase the backdrops, thanks again for purchasing the backdrops. I hope this tutorial helps you. Uh, it does seem like it takes a long time, but it really won't. Once you start getting used to all the tools and you develop your own little system, uh, your workflow will go a lot faster. And I believe at the end you'll be happy that you have a variety of backdrops anyway that you could really build up your portfolio and, um, again, offer those beautiful studio portraits. Thanks again, everybody, and take care.